In this short video, we're going to learn the difference between cytotoxic and vasogenic edema in the brain. Cytotoxic edema is seen in ischemia. Due to death of the cell, there is a failure of the sodium and potassium pump. This leads to accumulation of intracellular sodium and therefore water. This swelling affects both the grey and white matter and you will see a wedge-like pattern as seen here in this diagram. So not only does it affect the white matter, but it affects the cortical grey matter as well. It will also usually be in an arterial territory. Vasogenic edema is seen in the context of a space-occupying lesion. The blood-brain barrier is disrupted and this leads to leakage of fluid. This affects the white matter in contrast to the cytotoxic edema, which affects both grey and white matter. This results in a finger-like pattern as seen here in this diagram. And you can see that it looks quite different to the wedge shape of the cytotoxic edema. Looking at this case, as we scroll through, we can see there's abnormality in the left MCA territory. There is low attenuation in a wedge shape extending out from the white matter and all the way going into the grey matter. Looking further down in the same scan, we can see that they have a dense left MCA, which accounts for the cytotoxic edema. Looking at the second case, we can see that in the region of the right temporal lobe, and frontoparietal lobes, there is abnormal low attenuation. Again, this is a type of cerebral edema, but in contrast to the previous case in which we saw wedge shape, this is very finger-like, and this is in keeping with vasogenic edema, seen in the context of a space-occupying lesion. So in this short video, we've covered the main differences in cytotoxic and vasogenic edema and how it helps you in differentiating what the cause of the edema could be.